All right, lads, BSV are you? Big Sip Beer Review. And today's review, we're going to look at this Rumley Dark. This was kindly given to me by Tom Haddock. Tom's married to um, a very old school friend of mine, um, Samantha Evans, now Samantha Haddock. Um, yeah, we actually born the same day. We went to the wedding just over two years ago now. It was a Christmas wedding. It's in December. Yeah, he bought six bottles of beers or ales from Rumley Brewery and he wasn't first on this one so he gave me this one to review <laughs> cheers tom um yeah rumley brewery from my house to there it's a, probably about an half hour drive so you're looking at about 18 miles away so it's a relatively um close brewery to me so yeah just going to review it now rumley dark four percent abv and we're in a 500 mil bottle and he definitely sanitised that bottle when he gave it to my missus the other day because it's so sticky. That's trouble, that guy. Can't get that off then. Ooh. Never used that bottle opener before and don't think I'll ever you will. Totally struggled to get a cap off. <laughs> I can smell them. Smell the aroma now as I'm chugging that into the glass. We've got dark chocolates on the um, on the neck of the bottle. We'll get them all in now. Yeah, it's very very local to me. This uh, this brewery, Rumney Brewery. So we are very very dark with we have got light coming through the bottle got like a hue red hue coming through the bottle and the, the glass i should say got oh, red hue coming through the bottom of the glass and we got a one finger just off white fluffy head and the aroma dark chocolate is there um is the main is the main smell is given off And a slight, slight um, smell of um, coffee. So it's definitely a, um, a stout off the aroma and off the, off the look. I know I scanned it and untapped and I said it's an ale, but dark ale, stout, that's what, that's what we're going to review now. Yeah, dark chocolate and a little, um, little smell of coffee on the on the aroma cheers tom chin chin up, buddy let's have a go So first, um, on the first mouthfeel, it is um, the first problem I got with this is very thin, low carbonation in uh, yes, yeah, so you got a very very thin mouthfeel and low carbonation and flavors. The coffee, the coffee is now dominating the taste. On the aroma, it was the chocolate or the dark chocolate, um, which was like the dominant smell. On the and you could pick a little bit of coffee up, but on the taste, it's switched around. The coffee is very very dominant, and you have got hints of chocolate as well. So you got very punchy coffee, and very. Um, slight bit of dark chocolate on the taste but on the aroma is it's the other way around yeah so you can see why it's an ale now because it's quite thin in the mouthfeel if they called this stout the, they would have had to been a thicker thicker mouthfeel 
yeah, so it's a dark ale slash stout. Um, I, I don't mind it. It's, it's, it's not bad. I don't mind the stouts and I don't mind the dark ale. Um, taste twice, it tastes okay. Very coffee, very much coffee dominated. Yeah, and then that, that dies out, and you've got you get you can pick a little bit of um, chocolate up. Um, but for me, it's very very thin in the mouthfeel, which I've said on on um, previous videos. I do like a thick mouthfeel on my on my uh, dark beers. Um, but I'd happily drink it again, and I know he said he didn't like it or struggled with it because he's not a coffee drinker. So you can see why he did struggle with this. Uh. Big sip belch. Yeah, but I, I, I haven't got really um, much bad things to say about it, apart from it's very, very thin. So let's have a look at the big sip Bolton ability. Yeah, it's not bad. It's actually all right. Um, like I said, I'm happy that I'm happy that this is a local brewery to me. I'm going to start doing um, a lot of Welsh stuff, I think, in 2021 next year. But I'm planning on doing a video, maybe New Year, New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, about 2021, and what I'm going to be doing with my um, my channel. Um, definitely going to do more Welsh stuff. Might go down the Belgian or Belgium and the German route. Um, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I could definitely do. A, I could definitely do a video on that coming up in the next. I'll probably be a week. Yeah, a week or so. A week or so is fine. But go back to this Rumney Dark. I'm going to give it a big sip rate. Um, I'm going to give it a six point five out of ten. Tastes not a horrible taste. Very nice tasting. Um, Ale slash stout. Um, chocolatey and small bits of coffee on the aroma. And the taste, very, very thin, but very much switched around on the taste. Coffee and very small bits of dark chocolate. Yeah, cheers, Tom. And a 6.5 out of 10 for Big Sip. Cheers, lads. More of you to come on a future date. Big sip.